Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today I want to use the TI calculator to solve a problem involving a decreasing annuity. Now, the problem is that you're given a credit card with a $3,000 balance. There's an 18% uh, annual finance charge, but it's compounded monthly. And we want to know the payments to pay this off in five years, assuming we don't add any more to the credit card. Now, to understand the formulas that relate the initial amount of an account with the monthly payments to pay it off, which are written here, there's a little schematic diagram that I've added. Uh, and this we have seen the formulas involved. The first one here shows if you make a series of payments, the future value would be the result of an increasing annuity of how much money you would have accumulated. The second formula looks at the present value of an account, a big deposit of some sort. You don't make any payments, and it wants to look at the future value that would be compounded. Now, to find the relationship between the monthly payments and the initial value of the account, uh, we can set the two formulas for future value equal, and then we can solve either for the initial amount, the present value, or for the monthly payments. And that's what's done in these formulas here. All right, now let's see how we use these formulas or something like them. Uh, the formulas can be implemented, but I think instead let's go to the TVM solver. So we'll go to Applications, Finance, TVM Solver. And for this problem now, these formulas are implemented behind the scenes here. So let's look at for five years, how many months is that? So that's 60 months. We'll add 60 months in there. The annual interest rate is 18%. And the present value of our account was $3,000. That's what it held. Now we want to find the payments. And of course, we want to pay off the account. We don't want any money left to be owed at the end. So we'll leave the future value at zero. And the payments per year and the compounding periods per year, we're going to make monthly payments, and we're assuming compounding agrees with that. So we should change this to a 12. And now let's go up. We want to solve this to find the payment. So we go to the put the place place the cursor on the payment. And how do we solve? Well, we press alpha and then enter, and that gives us a payment of $76.18 a month. Now. If we wanted to say, well, that's uh, pretty cheap, maybe we should pay it off sooner, we could go back, say, if we wanted to pay it off in three years, I'd have to figure out how many months are in three years. Three times 12 is 36. So we could uh, put in 36 months. We can go down and solve again for the payments here. And now we see the monthly payments, if we wanted to pay it off in three years, would be $108.45. All right, so there we implemented on the solver of finding the payment that would uh, pay off a, a given kind of loan. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time for another podcast.